morning y'all jeff tbl outdoors I'm gonna do an update on my 2021 outback setup a lot of people have been asking because i seem to have a lot of stuff on there but when i'm out fishing it's set up just the way i want it uh, so here we go we'll start with my boondocks accessories this has been on there for several years the whole, half of the paint's worn off but that is an aluminum rudder from boondocks also from boondocks on the back of my truck I have the groovy T. Now let's go to the back of the kayak. So starting in the back, I do have a light system. This is a whip light. I got it off of Amazon. Modified it a bit so that I could attach it to my Yak Attack 90 and this Yak Attack attachment so that it's quick disconnect. At the top of it is the Burley Pro Orb. Let me show you how those are controlled. I have a switch down there. You can see it turned blue. In my bucket. The uh, organizer in that bucket is made by one objective. There's the back of the switch. All my power is from Nakwa. I have two 20 amp hour batteries up here. Down there, and that is a uh, Burley Pro electronics organizer for the Outback. All right, going back to the back. Hobie rod holders, adjustables, both sides, A trail adapters, Yak Attack attachments for the A trail. That allows me, to, when I'm not trolling, to pull these rod holders off and put them back here out of the way on the water I'm able to do that one-handed from my seat it's pretty easy yak attack 13 by 16 uh, pro black pack three rod holders on each side I have the short stack and then I have one of these this is my first aid kit uh, tourniquet band-aids some, just some emergency first aid on the back of the seat you saw the Hobie bag I have the Burley Pro raised steering handles with the Burley Pro knobs you'll notice my seats raised that's the SAI um, Outback seat risers and to do that I had to have the a trail risers from SAI also this is where I put my Yak Attack net. Coming back around the other side. Got my pump that I've never used, but I hope I never do. A uh, bending branches paddle. My second Burley Pro steering handle. I uh, have a fish stringer. Attaches right there. Second rod holder. I've already shown you the one objective bucket organizer it's out of the way got some marine mat just the in, inside stuff I don't have the whole one kayak cushions which make fishing all day no no problem at all and this is just how easy this is to slide back here out of the way I have this gap here set up so that when I'm carrying a cooler I put a soft bag cooler right here and I can turn around and stick fish in it I don't keep fish very often but when I do that's where I keep the cooler a couple uh, velcro straps from Amazon that are meant for bicycles to hold a uh, waterproof speaker so I can listen to some tunes I do have the short cables uh, they kind of stay out your way don't hit your legs so much I have an X grip for my phone. If I want to mount my phone up there, it links to my watch so I can take pictures of fish. And that's just by RAM. More SAI stuff. This is the SAI minnows. There are left and right. Uh, this is the heavy duty Yak Attack mount. This is a SAI catch board mount. The minnow. I have uh, the Yak Attack Garmin mount that's a garmin 
73 SV. Another minnow with the heavy duty yak attack mount on this side that holds the other rod holder for trolling. Hobie drive leash. Tools laying around. I now have plenty of room under the seat for some small tackle boxes. Moving up front. I got some rubber hose underneath some tape so that I don't hit when I hit pilings that these scratches don't end up on my kayak. I do have the Burley Pro Bumper Pro. My cart is a yak attack. I do have the beach wheels for that. And let's see if I can get this camera under there. I do have the Burley Pro transducer guard. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Up there in the Guardian. So, that's my setup. I tend to keep my, my Black Black Pro pretty light. I don't put a lot in there. A couple tackle boxes. It is not stuffed to the brim. I don't like it heavy. It leave room so that on those days where you start out nice and cool and it gets warm, you can stuff your hoodie in there. The top part is all soft plastics. I don't want it too heavy so that when I when I open it, it doesn't uh, get too heavy on these straps right here. Soft plastics and leader. And there you go. That's my setup. So, a lot on it. None of this was done at once. It's all been added over a couple years worth of uh, modifications to get it to where it is. Oh, I do have back here. These are the Burley Pro connector protectors. Keep some of the salt spray. I, I almost exclusively fish salt spray. And then you got the Burley Pro visor as well. Got to give credit to, to the people who make this stuff. All right, y'all take care. This is Jeff, TBL Outdoors. We're gone.